All right, last time we have extracted with all of these uh, juicy items. Let's see how much gold it actually is. And it's 150 gold. That is quite... Oh, it's actually more. Plus we have uh, an axe and a falchion. So let's see here. We're going to sell off the blade and the double axe for four. We're going to start filling our inventory here. All right, pretty good gear. Um, so uh, with this gear that we have acquired last time, we will jump right back into the normal goblin caves. And I will try to uh, explain a little better what I mean with, with kiting and what I do to fight the mobs. Because I feel like I, I didn't really do a great job explaining it in the video uh, before. So let's see if I can <laughs> do a little bit of a better job actually explaining what I do. All right, this spawn is uh, suboptimal. But what I do is I path towards the centipede. First, I clear this room. I walk up, let him start his animation, back off, strike. Let him start his animation, walk back and hit. Let him start the animation, walk back and hit. Let him start his animation, walk back and hit. So this way you don't take a single damage. There is a rogue um, down below. I don't know if he wants to head up here. There can be some valuable items here. But doesn't have to be. I'm gonna take a, a look back to see if this rogue wants to mess with me. I don't know. I don't see him anymore. He could be behind me. I don't know where he went. But what we want to do is we want to jump uh, all the way at the last spot there. Get in here. Kill these. And there is a sometimes an emerald or a... Oh, there is the rogue. You block. You block. Counter attack. You block counter-attack and you fuck him up I uh, hit a few good shots there uh, he tried to get rid of me really quickly we're gonna swap pants here loot this and I think he had the same idea um, the reason why I take um, um, but why I take the uh, weapon mastery is just for uh, situations like this I can kill him, I can take his throwing knives, and now I can use them. So you want to be careful uh, walking around this corner, there sometimes is a trap here. But you can walk inside of this room, and there is a giant centipede in this pit here. So first you want to open the chest, get the experience. This is a very, very, very risky move, because some people just wait over there. You want to block the spit. Hit two times, wait for the animation, go back in, hit two times, wait for the big attack wind up, hit him in the face when he... Oh, when, when you see the purple glow, you want to block immediately. If you start swinging like me, that's really bad, because then the... Yeah, so some, some hiccups here, I'm gonna pop second wind here, because without it... I think I'm gonna die, so I'm gonna kite. You don't want to get hit by the poison. Now two pendants, which is really good, I don't have time looking at them. I'm gonna pop the shrine here, get full life. Uh, press X to get rid of my weapon here, so that we can run really, really fast. 
And now we are going to oh, jump over the spike trap. I didn't see that one. The last second I saw it there. Now let's take a look at the pendants here. Strength 2. That's really good. We're gonna... We have three pendants in this run, which is uh, really good. But whenever I have really good stuff, I kind of die. So this is the route you uh, always want to crouch here, because there is a spike trap here. And it's gonna hit you if, you, if you're not careful. Always kill the death skulls. They have some good items for you. This little cheeky goblin is going to fly towards us. Always finish these off. So entering this room is a really bad idea in this situation. Mm. What we are doing now is we want to have some high ground. So um, shift the weapon to be quicker. Run around the elevator here. Start smashing these boxes. There might be some really good loot here. Sometimes you are lucky with the drops. It's not actually that good. If it's bad, you can press shift right click to drop the items. We are quite healthy. And I think the spider room is right behind this. No, it's not. The spider room is over there. But we are at high ground, which is exactly what we wanted. There is a portal here. We are going to open it right away. If the spider comes... That's okay, we're gonna just kill all the spiders. Alright, another portal popped. Get rid of the main container. Because as long as the container is alive, the spiders are just going to respawn. Now, very important, you wanna always open the portal first. So that way, if someone jumps you, you can just quickly jump in. And now you're just gonna absorb the rest of the loot that is around you. Pop open all of these. Some jewelry, some lantern action. This can sell for some some little sum of money. Alright. You don't want to pop open these barrels here because they normally contain just skeletons. Alright, we want to fight these skeletons in this room. Finish them off for yourself, because that way you get the experience. If the trap kills it, uh, them, you won't get the experience. So, just keep that in mind. Now we want to check for the loot here. There is a gemstone sometimes not always but yeah we want to open this chest nothing good but we want to grab the the helmet shiver weapon run all the way to the left side here to not get hit by the trap and we are out it was kind of a yeah the explanation wasn't on point let's see how much money we get from selling the jewel jewelry. Oh, this is the wrong guy. This is the right guy. So we're gonna sell off everything here. I guess that was everything. Now we're gonna head to the weaponsmith, sell the lantern. They sell for quite nice money here. Sell this lantern as well. Yeah, it's Looking really well. We are ramping up our funds. So this actually plus two strength and plus damage is something that I might be able to sell later for quite a lot of money. So I'm just going to put it in my uh, bank account, let's say. Uh, let's exchange my silver for gold. And uh, let's see here. Armor pen, free will... This one is fitting the best. The free will for sure will sell. And we're gonna keep those around. 
Now, without buying too much, I will just buy uh, one potion, I guess, because he only had one in stock and only one bandage. And we are now we are trying to see. Okay, there is no white campfire. I would have bought it. We are jumping right into another game here, and I'm showing you the routes that I take. Hopefully, a little bit better. Not so hectic, a little bit more quiet for once. So we left, uh, we left the jewelry we had. We already have a lot of uh, profit. I feel like the normal goblin caves, if you if you do my routes, are can be really really profitable, even more than the hardcore high roller one. Um, yeah, because I'm just printing money, man. Okay. So I'm gonna do the same route as last run. I'm going to head for uh, the centipede. Alright, walk back. As soon as the animation starts, you can swing. If he's not doing anything, just swing at him. Walk away. And uh, yeah, there is a rape here for us. Nice. Actually, I'm gonna switch it up for you guys. I'm gonna run all the way around to the shelf area. And... Grab some, grab some potions and maybe some mummies all the way on the other side. So let's sheave the weapon here. Start sprinting. You don't want to fall down here, so be careful. So, someone spawned here. Some people are fighting here. We're gonna clear this goblin here that is in our way. We have already a winner, so we're gonna sheave the weapon. Walk quickly, throw the lantern, do some damage here. Now we want to... Uh... Alright, let's see if he left some loot on, on this player here. Maybe he had some gear. Nothing really. We're gonna take the uh, throwing axes here, because we can use them. And now... If you spawn inside of this room, you have the freedom to walk over through this door and get to the shelves. This guy is uh, to our right here. Pretty sure he is hiding in this room. Yes, he is. Now, see, he jumps out like a little, like a little parasite. Counter attack. Snap. <laughs> Counter attack and slap him in the face. That combo is so strong. Uh, a well timed uh, counter swing. Uh, if you hear spider noises uh, when you're here, there is a spider here. Don't jump on this plate here. Otherwise, the spider will come out. I will show you guys. Normally, there is a chest here. But uh, if you hear a spider moving, it is a spider, so don't open it. There is no treasure behind the wall. Alright, there is another fighter here. He cleared out this room. And he has a longsword and I always die against that, that shit. Alright, he baits me. Alright, he fucked up, kind of. Alright, it's a... It's a kind of a ninja move he did there. It's fine. It is fine. We're gonna heal on this shrine. If you're standing like this, the zone will not damage you. So you can just freely stand in it. I'm just gonna wait a little. He's fighting a mummy. So I'm gonna... Ooh, there is a health potion here. Uh, I'm just gonna rush down. He killed it. But now he has to kill me as well. I think he's just going to parry, so I'm just gonna aim for his legs. No, if he if he hits the parry, you wanna be careful because the parry damage of a longsword is really insane. 36 damage falchion, that is insane. Let me grab that. I mean longsword, we're gonna take all of these. Um I mean, I take the 31 damage as well. Nothing too good on his body here. 
We will take the shrine and I will, I will show you the shelf area that I was talking about. It's right here. So the way you want to uh, clear it is if there is a mage, you of course bait his little ball. Oh my god, if, if the mage ball is bouncing around like that, I don't know why I'm getting hit. Sometimes I really don't understand how the, the mage ball thing works. I think he's uh, starting to charge up. Now we smack him in the face, it's a free kill. I, it's really bad that we took some damage, but I don't know how we even did take damage in the first place. And now we can take everything in the shelf. A lot of jewelry, some bandages, lanterns, they sell for quite a bit, a ruby. And this thing. Now, if the zone isn't this close, I would recommend you going killing all the mummies. Mummies give a lot of XP. Always check in this box, nothing in there. Now you want to clear the box here. Nothing of value. I kind of put the helmet over the bandage here. Nice. Uh, always check inside of this treasure chest here. Sometimes there is really valuable stuff in here. And I really don't like the middle room. So I always try to avoid it if possible. There is some beetles there. There is the champion there. You can try and kill the champion if you... All you need to do is uh, walk into him, start his attack animation, and smartly wait out his combos and get some swings in between Ranger Hood. So what we are going to do instead is we are going to run around this way. Spell capacity... I mean, it has more armor. I'm gonna just put it on another potion. Um, careful for the zone. If you are out of the zone, you really don't want... Oh my god, that is really, really good. So I'm gonna try... I think it's already fitting. Let's do strength. I might even switch. Because this makes me more tanky. Alright, let's open the door, let's get into the zone, let's not waste time, sheath the weapon to be quicker, jump down, don't be afraid. Let's uh, finish this guy. I heard a portal, but I don't really see it, I don't know where it is. And you always want to grab high ground, so even if the zone is here, you just want to run in there jump up here. Careful, there is a trap here. Ooh, and he has a crossbow. That is bad. So you want to dodge. Dodge this trap. And now you want to quickly get away from him. He has range. Close the door. Jump over the spiders. Don't take free damage. Clear them. Quickly and efficiently. And let's... Let's wait and see if he actually comes here. I mean, you normally always want to clear the spider pot. But it was kind of hidden for me, so I did it the wrong way. Um, I don't see an escape portal, so this might be... The perfect run to show you the hidden entrance. Uh, hidden exit, I'm, I feel like. Alright, skeleton. Alright, he missed his shot. Right, he really wants to... He really wants some some fighting here. Don't walk up too uh, close. He popped his second wind, that's really good. Just 
someone channel the fireball here. Oh, and he hit me with the crossbow. He really played that well. Let's see here. He had a lot of health left and some quite nice gear as well. I think we could have won the fight, but I just played it poorly. I have to admit, I threw this fight, kind of got scared. And uh, yeah, that was the end of it. So we are going to finish up uh, the second video here. Thank you guys for watching and uh, joining. And the next one will be with nothing again.